so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in the last uh, few sessions we have uh, started with module 5 and we have covered uh, many important concepts in module 5 so those who have not seen that video and who are new to this video you can refer those four videos it is available in our playlist okay so please refer them first and after that you can refer this video okay so this is the uh, we are coming to the end of this module and this is the last topic that is skin effect or depth of penetration okay so now what is the skin effect and depth of penetration so now we are going to discuss this in detail okay uh, before that we need let's analyze this figure that is so this is the electric field direction which is uh, i have uh, in y direction i have assumed it is in y direction that is ey and also we can uh, uh, this is the electric field where this curve or the electric field is moving in a particular curve here and, and this uh, where this em wave is enters the conducting medium and its amplitude decreases exponentially and it becomes partially zero you can see that it dec decreases exponentially and it reaches to the point where it partially becomes zero okay and where this point uh, where the decreases uh, where the point decreases exponentially okay where point at the point which the divergence take place from the x axis as well as this y axis this point is called as 1 by e times epsilon naught and the length here is called as the depth of penetration and it is represented by dou okay so this is dou or we can name it as depth of penetration okay yeah so now let's see what is this skin effect so when an em wave enters a conducting medium its amplitude decreases exponentially and becomes partially zero after penetrating a small distance so so this is the small distance of penetration here and this distance of penetration is mentioned as depth of penetration okay whatever the distance made by this uh, exponentially curve to uh, decrease exponentially and partially becoming zero where the the distance between that is called as the depth of penetration okay as a result the current induced by the wave exists only near the surface of the conductor okay that's why this effect is called as skin effect okay because this uh, current induced by the wave exists only near the surface of the conductor okay not to the whole part of the plane it only exists during in the part of the surface of the conductor and this effect is called as skin effect okay so now let's analyze this uh, uh, what to say derivation and uh, let's uh, get the expression of depth of penetration so now let x be the distance traveled in the medium and e is the amplitude then we can see that simple expression of e as e is equal to e naught times e to the power minus alpha x okay where this alpha is called as represented as the attenuation constant okay you can remember this term it is called as attenuation constant okay now e equal to at e equal to e naught uh, we are getting this relation e equal to e naught at x equal to zero okay that is at free space also e equal to 1 by e times e naught at x equal to dou okay this from this figure okay at x equal to 0 that is when this uh, curve is at 0 0 uh, what to say at 0 axis at the origin we are getting e equal to e naught and also at x equal to dou here we are getting the relation of uh, e equal to 1 by e times e naught okay so at the penetrating depth dou ie x equal to uh, dou equal to 1 by alpha okay and also e equal to 1 by e times e naught so where this dou is called as the depth of penetration okay so for a good, good conductor we have a simple expression of uh, uh, alpha or the attenuation constant for a good conductor that is alpha is equal to square root of omega mu sigma pi 2 okay where this omega is the uh, oscillating frequency mu is the permeability in the medium in free space it is mu equal to mu naught and the sigma is the conductivity divided by 2 okay it holds square root this is the expression for attenuation constant okay now what we can do is since alpha is equal to 1 by dou okay we have a direct relation of attenuation constant and depth of penetration that is alpha is equal to 1 by dou okay so now what we are doing is dou is equal to take its reciprocal that is square root of 2 divided by omega mu sigma so now what we can do is dou is equal to square root of 2 divided by in place of omega replace it by 2 pi f so we can cancel 2 2 we are left with square root of 1 divided by pi f mu sigma so this is the uh, expression which we are deriving for depth of penetration that is dou is equal to square root of 1 by pi f mu sigma also we can note a few things that is whenever the conductivity increases 
the depth of penetration would be decreasing and also the frequency when the frequency is uh, increasing the lesser the penetration okay whenever the more the frequency the lesser the penetration because uh, the relationship between this dou and uh, uh, what to say sigma and f is that dou is equal to 1 by something right so that's why it is always reciprocal to each other and inversely proportional to each other so that's why whenever the conductivity increases the depth of penetration would be decreasing and whenever the frequency increases the depth of uh, pen the depth of penetration would be always less okay so this was a simple derivation of skin effect of depth of penetration okay so now we will be discussing some of the important formulas okay some of the important uh, formulas in uh, according to problems okay so that's why those formulas are very important because the problems in this module are mostly from uh, this uh, this section only that is skin effect or depth of penetration okay so in order to understand these kind of problems you need to be knowing those formulas very well so now let's see those formulas as well so this is an important concept for all the formulas here list of formulas are important i'm just going to read it out so this is uniform plane wave in conductive media so the wave equation for in conducting medium the equation is given as dou square ey by dou x square minus uh, what to work uh, minus rau square okay this this term is called as rau or simply you can call it as r okay rau square rau square ey equal to zero where this rau square uh, is the propagation constant okay so this term is called as the propagation constant okay so it has a formula that is j omega mu into sigma plus j omega epsilon where this uh, always this uh, propagation constant whatever you get is uh, purely imaginary in nature okay this is not a real term this is an imaginary term okay and which won't be appearing on the uh, plane because the this is one imaginary surface okay so that's why uh, this is the propagation constant for that so now solution for wave equation is ey of x comma t is equal to a e of j omega t minus rho x plus b e of j omega t plus rho x okay where this a represents alpha and this b represents beta and alpha and beta i have told you that it is called as attenuation constant and this beta here is called as phase constant okay this beta is represented as phase constant please remember okay because this beta we are going to use in many many problems so we have a certain amount of formulas for this okay i am not going to read it down because it's not so important okay because the most of the problems which they ask from this model is related to free space okay so whenever for free space or for a good conductor we have the separate formula that is sigma by omega t would whenever it is higher than one so what we are getting is alpha and beta these are the two expressions that is it's one and the same alpha equal to beta okay in this case that is square root of omega mu sigma by two okay so where this is the one more formula for uh, uh, propagation constant in simple that is alpha plus j beta if we uh, simplify this what we are getting if we simplify this term here that is square root of omega mu sigma with an angle of 45 degree okay when we convert it into a polar form so that's why now intrinsic impedance of a conducting medium okay since we have seen the intrinsic impedance in free space that is ey by hz okay also this ey by represent, hz is uh, represented as nita okay this is called as nita that nita is equal to ey by hz in of conducting medium uh, the expression is given as square root of j omega mu divided by sigma plus j omega epsilon okay so these are the important formulas you can note it down so that's all this is all about the skin effect and depth of penetration hope you like this video and followed this video so that's all for this session so you can refer our playlists and previous videos for this module it might be appearing on the right of your screen now the playlists all the modules we have, we have covered it so please refer it and uh, like share subscribe and comment down your opinions guys that's all. Thank you.